and I've got audio as well. What's up, guys? Matt Olmer. All right. Matt, when you think of famous bodybuilders who can pose well, who do you think of? Famous? Famous bodybuilders so who can pose well. famous people that other people would know? Famous bodybuilders who would pose well. Damn. To be honest, I'm hey. bad with names here. Okay. And uh, I would have to get on the computer and, and then look it up, to be honest. I can't really think of anyone right now. Except for maybe Kai Green. <laughs> that, that's not my honest answer. Bill Heath, Jim Cordova. I guess if you consider Jim Cordova famous, then definitely Jim Cordova. His, uh, he had this posing routine in 2007 that just blew my mind. And other than that... One more. Kai Green, Dirty Diana. A couple years ago. One of the best posing routines ever. Yep. What makes a posing routine stand out to you? Well, you definitely want it to be planned out, like thought out. Uh, not just made up on the spot. You can definitely tell if something was freestyled um, And it just shows that that person put a lot of thought and uh, effort into it And you got to give someone who put more effort, you know, a bit more credit than someone who just freestyled it. That's definitely for sure so. I'd say being unique getting the crowd involved and Really just letting the music bring out your passion because if you're into it, everybody's gonna be into it so yeah. Dancing with your body That's what I mean. Well, flexing. Have you ever seen Nick Colville pose? And if you have, when and where? Oh, Lord. I, uh, I think I saw Nick Colville pose at the uh, 2012 ABA, INBA, Silver and Black competition in Oakland, California. And uh, I believe that was the right competition. And he posed to the song Dirty Diana by Michael Jackson. And uh, I was... I'll keep it appropriate. I was, I was uh, blown away. I'd say aroused, but that might not be appropriate. But I was uh, pretty entertained. I thought it was really creative. Um, I didn't, I didn't think he bit off anything, or I didn't feel like uh, he copied, copied Kai Green because I know Kai Green has done a similar song or has done the same song. But I felt he owned it and uh, he killed it. I was really entertained, and uh, I think he ended up getting best pose reward. So. Damn, Myron. That's a good answer. I did see Nick Colville pose. Very impressive. Um, I mean, I think I think some people could discredit it or, from what I've heard, say, oh, you know, Kai Green did this routine or you just copied it. But, uh... You might get hit. But, um... No, I mean, you had your own touch to it. You had passion. That's what matters. Great. That was actually a longer response to the... Uh, like a prelude to the next question what stood out about Nick's posing uh, you hit the beat when you needed to you flowed well you didn't stop and think about it you didn't forget anything uh, what stood out just it was beautiful it was well thought out and uh, it just flowed perfectly and I was completely entertained your body looked great came in conditioned musculator was there and it was just, it was awesome. Dude, charisma. Blew it out of the water. Every beat hit, every pose was hit. Uh, unique moves, things the crowd hadn't seen. Yeah. The physique was there, that's a given. So combine all those, that's a perfect posing routine right there. Another thing that stood out was there was there was no other posing routine that night that was half as good. So it, uh, it just completely stood out. And I think everyone that was at that show is going to remember that. So. One last question. Do you feel that posing has gotten better or worse over time? <laughs> I guess it uh, depends what, what, how you're looking at it. Um, I, I compete uh, natural competitions and uh, I see the beginners uh, not spending much time doing their posing. So it's, and I'm mostly affiliated with beginners, it seems. Um, they, they obviously could practice their posing much better. Uh, I really don't know if it's gotten better or worse over time. I just know that I feel like everyone could step up their game. And uh, I think it makes the uh, events more entertaining. I feel like if the posing was better and uh, it was more entertaining, I, maybe more people would come and uh, show a little bit more appreciation for it, see it more than just guys you know, in a man thong. So that's what I think. I'll add on to it, and uh, it's probably branching off a little bit from the original question too, but I'll tie it in. Um, generally, 
yes, I, I, from my experience, I think posing has gotten a little bit better overall. But also, I think the sport is growing little by little, and there's more and more people just interested in bodybuilding and just learning, just trying to bring, trying to step it up. Um, but everybody can use work on posing, and you'd be surprised to to find that a lot of fifth place, sixth place finish, fin finishes can be second or first if they if they're able to showcase what they got. You can have the best body up there if you can't pose, you can't show it. You just did all that hard work to not be able to showcase it, you know. Uh, there's a quote by Alberto, my head coach, said, uh, uh, somebody asked him, what's the, what's, the, what's the fastest way to add 10 pounds of muscle? His answer was posing, right? So if you think about it, it's pretty much as good as it gets. It's true. I believe it. Work on the posing.